coming up next, Salesian News Asia Pacific. Hello folks, glad to have you join us for the 133rd episode of Salesian News Asia Pacific. I am your host RJ Brian of Radio Salesian 90.8 FM, the voice of the hills, the first community radio of Don Bosco Asia since 2016. This show is brought to you by Church Art Kolkata, the church decor people. India, Don Bosco Tech produces Zati Power, Indigenous Generator. Bosco Tech Program Coordinator Kunal Kantipal reports from Silchar, Assam. The first ever Indigenous Electric Power Generator manufactured by Zati Production by Don Bosco Tech Silchar was unveiled by Shillong Provincial Father Paul Olincourt in the presence of the Provincial Council at Don Bosco Tech Silchar campus. The Indigenous 63 kVA Generator Christendet Zati Power is the first product of Zati production under Boscotech Director of Silcher, Brother Reggie Joseph Cherukunel. The manufacturing of the first ever indigenous generator was completed in one year with meticulous planning, scientific calculation and advice from the expert in the field. The 63 kVH silent generator is ready for installation in Nongko Parish, Meghalaya. Kunal Kanti Paul reporting. Mongolia, Salesians provide 5,100 saplings for government's tree planting project. Father Antonius Veron reports from Darkhan. The Salesians in Darkhan provided 5,100 trees and the Apostolic Prefecture provided for transportation and delivery of the plants to different parishes and congregations answering government's call to plant 1 billion trees nationwide. The Salesian delegation of Mongolia is actively involved in the global Catholic environment movement. Salesians and their mission partners, members of education or pastoral institutions have been trying to promote trust separation and recycling, planting trees in the country. There are instructions and presentations in the school, community, and youth centers of the delegation to raise awareness global ecology and Laudato Si. Father Antonius Veron reporting. You are listening to Salesian News on Radio Salesian from Salesian College, Sanada, Darjeeling. Vietnam Robocon contest marking Teachers' Day attracts enthusiastic students. Father Augustine Fuok reports from Vinh Long. Robocon contest at Don Bosco Mỹ Thuận Technical School mark Vietnamese Teachers' Day on the 20 November. The event aroused passion for science, engineering, technology, provided students with the opportunity to exchange and learn from each other and apply their knowledge to create useful models and products for life. The competition had four participating teams representing each class in the faculty of electrical and engineering. Each team consisted of two participants. The teams had to go to through two rounds of competition. First round consisted of racing competition. Round two had competitive rivalry which demanded from contestants agility, accuracy and coordination to control the robots. Father Augustine Fork reporting. India Substance Abuse Rehab Center opened in Kerala State Capital. Carolyn Matthew reports from Tiruvananthapuram. Minister for Road Transport, Government of Kerala, Mr. Anthony Raju inaugurated Don Bosco Southern, a rehabilitation center for boys at Manvala, Tiruvananthapuram on November 26, 2022. Envisioned by the Bangalore Rural Educational and Development Society, BRETS, as part of its drug rehabilitation, education and mentoring, Dream Initiative, the center provides young people a way to sobriety and health 
health. Don Bosco Southern provides residential rehabilitation and de-addiction services for children below 18 years. The services offered include inpatient and outpatient treatment, free food and accommodation, and various formats of counseling, individual, group and family, life skills training and recreation. After the inaugural program, a workshop on the increasing substance abuse among children and drugs and addictions, impact on children and families was held. Various stakeholders from the 10 districts of Kerala, where the DREAM program is implemented, participated in the workshop. Caroline Matthew reporting. Indonesia Young Salesians join Interfaith Peace Youth Camp. Cleric Fabianus Caro reports from Jakarta. A three-day interfaith youth camp was held from 18 to 20 November 2022 at Pondok Pendawa, Tegal, Banten province near Jakarta. Among the 30 participants were 19 young people of Christian and Muslim faith and 11 facilitators of Youth Interfaith Peace Committee. The Christian group had five young Salesian from Don Bosco Visma Postnovisate Formation Community. The three-day program helped the participants to know each other deeper, shed their deeply rooted stereotypes based on the exclusive perspective and ignorance of other religions. The first day was an invitation to know ourselves, our weaknesses and strengths and learn to accept ourselves as we are, also accepting our bitter past. The key word was accepting oneself and accepting others. The causes and factors that contribute to the environment destruction, global warming, and pollution were taken up on second day and also try to find some way how to heal our common home with our small contribution. On the last day, we tackled our personal relation with God in a spirit of repentance and three concrete actions, do for, do with, and do by God. Cleric Fabianus Caro reporting. Those are the latest from Salesian News Asia Pacific. This show was brought to you by Church Art Kolkata, the church decor people. Enjoy the rest of your day.